Now let's get started. In order to first start off building my agent, I'm going to use the agent starter pack and I'm going to link that in the comments below. That's the easiest way that you can build a production ready agent using the ADK framework. So I'm going to go ahead and say create my agent using the agent starter pack and I'm going to use the ADK base template. And now that I have my agent created, the first thing I'm going to do is import the events compaction config. And I'm going to add my, my compaction config at the app level when I'm defining the app. So here I'm going to say events compaction config and I'm going to define the events compaction config and give it the first one, the first variable is going to be the compaction interval, which we saw in the previous example. So I'm going to say compaction interval is three. And I'm also going to define the overlap size. I'm going to define it as one. And now let's go ahead and make this environment. I'm going to say make playground. So get the ADK web automatically open when I run the make playground through agent starter kit. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm ask, I'm going to ask it for the significance of each lunar month. And I'm going to ask it to proceed after every single month. So let's observe the events that happen too. So I'm going to start with January and let's monitor the events. And I'm just going to keep saying proceed so that it proceeds to the next one. I got the one for Jan. I'm going to say proceed. I can see that this one, the first event has created. At this point of time, the summary has not been triggered yet. I'm going to say proceed again. And we have the second event. And then I'm going to say proceed again for the fourth event. Now let's take a look at what's happening behind the scenes. So if you look at the session and the events that you would see that there's four events right now. Now, if I click on the first event, I would see that the total token count is 747 and I see my request here. So let me move on to the next event. I'm sending both my initial prompt as well as the prompt as the response that I got from the model the previous turn, in this case, the January. I move ahead. I can see that I see the month of Jan, Feb, as well as my original prompt. At this point of time, it's hit the three interval that we had defined it. So the next event that gets triggered, you can see that the model, instead of sending each of those individual months, it's giving me a summary, which is the summary of the interaction so far. Now, what has this resulted in? You can see that instead of sending the large individual responses, I'm sending a summary. And if I look at total token count, it's 926 for the fourth interaction versus 1000 145 for the previous interaction. You can see that this is an improvement in the token count as well as the performance because every time I don't have to keep sending it the entire context. Now let's just keep proceeding further. You would see that even at the sixth month, it would again trigger another summary. So let's see how that happened. Now, if I go to the next one, I would see that the sum we have the summary one, we have the fourth month as well as the fifth month. Now, if I proceed further, the next one, it should have triggered a summary. Here you see, I have a summary one, which is generated by the first three events and a summary two, which is generated by the next three events. And then I have the seventh month too. So that's how context compaction works. This is an inbuilt feature within ADK. 